Well, hi there again. It's a stunning day here today on the south coast of England. It's an early April Monday, beautiful morning. And I thought, what better way to celebrate the weather than to go out and operate a bit of HF Portable. Now, today I'm going to be reviewing the Mad Dog Mutt 66 foot N fed half wave antenna, which will give us four bands 40, 20, 15, and 10. By the way, just to confirm, I am a paying customer, not being sent this at all for review. So in case you're not too aware about NFED half waves, the good thing about them is if you uh, set it to the main half wave frequency, in this case, or band, in this case, it'll be 40 meters because the thing is 66 foot long, you'll get the harmonics. You'll get 7 megs, obviously, if you get 14 megahertz, that's 20 meters, 21 megahertz, that's 15 meters, and 28 megahertz, which is 10 meters. So you get four bands in one aerial, which is pretty good. Now, I've got it up today as an, N as a, an inverted V, with the uh, the highest bit about eight meters above the ground, with the drive on plate and uh, a couple of um, electric fence little uh, little posts, uh, which, uh, which basically spear into the ground, which are used to prop up the um, the actual transformer itself on one end and also on the other end to actually uh, put the uh, the actual power cord to, and uh, the end of the far end of the antenna from the um, from the transformer is about four or five meters above the ground and the transformer itself is about a metre above the ground. I'm running about 12 metres of RG58, and in the middle of that run, I've got a little choke uh, about five or six metres out from the transformer, which just makes sure that we don't get anything nasty wiggling back to the transceiver. Um, but all very, all very well and good. Let me show you then the deployment itself, and then we'll have a go with her and see if we can make a few contacts. Howdy, folks. So here's the setup. We've got the uh, Mad Dog Mutt. Uh, transformer, you can see it's a 56 to 1. Just added a, uh, an SO239, BNC to SO239 adapter there for the uh, for the coax in a minute, and it's going up. You can see the compensation coil, up to height of about 8 metres, and then down the other side there's an inverted V at the end, about I'd say about 3 or 4 metres off the ground. So there we go. So there's the uh, scan, you can see the noticeable dips at the uh, 7, 14, 21, maybe 28 megs as well. Just going to check each band to see what the uh, what the actual SWR curve looks like. So you can see that uh, 40 is uh, pretty usable. Again, 20 is uh, pretty usable there as well, no problems at all. And there we've got 15, that's looking uh, very nice indeed. And uh, I'm a phone operator on 28 megs, so that's uh, plenty good enough for me. Absolutely no problems at all. ECQ parked on the air. Golf 8 X-ray Delta Delta Portable. Hello, Tim. Yes, it sounds like it's a flatter of a pancake. Italy Kilo 2, Baker Delta Romeo. Good morning. Thanks for the call. You're this report for you in North Italy is Lake of Como 57. Yeah, totally. We're one Alpha India Whiskey. Good. Uh, good afternoon, Delta Lima 2, Sugar Uniform Delta. Good afternoon. You're about a 5 and 2. Your signal report also not so strong. 5, 1, 5, 2. Tango 5, Tango Mike, Postal, Hello, thank you, you're 5, 9. Here at Hotel Alpha 100, November. Golf 5, Tango Mike, Portable, Charlie, Tango 7, Bravo, Japan, Golf. You're, you're uh, 5 and 9, 5 and 9. So I chose a great day for the weather, but not a great day for the bands. Bands are absolutely appalling. Uh, hardly any signals about on 40 metres. Lots of people saying the same thing on various groups and things, and uh, even people on air saying they can hardly hear anybody. So the bands are terrible today. Obviously, we're in the middle of another solar storm, the price you pay for some high sunspots. However, even though we were faced with that situation, still made a few contacts on 40 and 20. There was nothing at all happening on 15 and 10. I've got no doubt it was down to that. So overall, a qualified success. Very happy with it. Easy to deploy, nice and light to carry around. And overall, it's another antenna to add to my arsenal. I'll put a little link to the uh, Mad Dog um, sort of website uh, below in the in the details as well, so you can have a look at uh, what else Marty's got to got to sell. And I got to say, I'm pretty happy with uh, what I've seen so far. Well, thanks for watching. Hope I catch you on another video soon. Take care and good luck with your HF uh, exploits as well. All the best now. Bye bye.